Jess and Jake back at it again today with a full length YouTube video of The Schoolie Project. Today we're going to be building out the entire roof deck on top of the bus and our whole video is going to be sponsored and powered by Blue Eddie. Let's get into it. Now that we've applied two coats of this paint onto our mounting brackets, we are going to use our high capacity Blue Eddy unit to plug in this industrial fan behind it to accelerate the drying time. Now that the fan is going, we're going to let that run for like an hour or two and check back in in a little bit. We're going to be using this thread to connect the two lights behind me so we have some type of guideline for mounting the brackets we have to use for the deck. Due to the fact that our bus doesn't sit 100% even, we needed to use the fixed points on the bus, which is why we use these indicator lights right here and here, because that will ensure that this guideline is as straight as we can possibly manage. We went ahead and brought over our Blue Eddy and got all of our power tool batteries charging so that as soon as we're ready to start this project, all of our tools are ready to go. In the meantime, we're gonna use these custom mounts to actually attach the roof and the deck together, but we need to connect them. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that now. After a lot of experimentation, we went ahead and got one installed off camera. In order to do so, we went ahead and drilled out heads of the rivets. We did that on each one of the points on each side that they're gonna be installed. Now that we're ready to install our mount, I'm going to be applying this marine grade sealant for the roof. I'm going to just apply it to the base of all of the mounts here. And then we're also going to apply it on the inside once the screws are through the roof. Obviously, we're drilling holes into our roof, so we need to apply adhesive around all of the screw holes. Jake's also gonna put a dabble in the middle before he puts the screw in. We put caulk around the base because we're just trying to ensure a watertight seal when drilling this into our roof. Now that we've installed all of our mounts accordingly, I just want to talk about some concerns people might have with the hardware. These are self-tapping screws. They're not bolts. I'll get into that later. But this hardware that we use from the manufacturer is rated independently in this setting with the four screws, this nut, and the harness is rated for 2,000 pounds each. So being that we have eight of these mounts, we're rated for a total of 16,000 pounds for the entire deck. And we are not doing it the entire length of the bus because of our solar rack. So we are only doing it on the back half, which automatically puts less stress on the ribs themselves. So the concern doesn't really exist for us with these mounts not being able to support our roof deck.
can you get out? Can you stop looking? Go it. Come over here. You come over here. All right, y'all. We have fully built the deck on level ground. We got it here in the back of the bus, and our plan is basically to hoist this thing up. We're gonna use some rope tied on one end. We're gonna have a few people on the top, a few people on the bottom, pushing it up, pulling it up, and we're gonna get it installed. Let's get into it. They went with it. Hold on, careful. Can you guys set it down? Stop. Careful, careful. Got it. Lift so it doesn't drag, y'all. Amazing. All right, so let's recap. We have our frame in position temporarily with some of the mounts holding them temporarily in place. This is as square as it is going to be. We removed the cross beams that we had up here on top and the bottom because those were just giving it more brace so the structure didn't break while we were moving it. And in order to make sure that it was square, we used our measuring tape. We did one corner to the other corner. We found that measurement. We found the corner from there and there. We found the measurement. And once they were the same number, we knew that we were straight so from here we're going to continue installing our framing cut a little hole for our uh, max air fan here and then from that we're going to lay them just right across and that should be that we have the whole roof deck pretty much up and fully squared and right now jake is just finalizing the screws on all the mounts here and then um we'll be running all of the rest of the cross beams and putting in the deck boards look at it Woo! We've been going nonstop, three days in a row, so many projects, and this blue eddy right here has been powering us through every single one of them. We haven't even charged this thing up since we got it, and it has plenty to keep us going. I'm gonna be the one drilling in these deck boards. I'm excited, we're about to finish it off. This is us a few days after we have officially completed our roof deck. It looks amazing. It feels super sturdy. We already had about like five or six people up here on 4th of July and it felt just so sturdy. This entire deck is actually rated for 16,000 pounds, which we will never have up here. So we feel so, so good about this project and how much we've extended our living space. So let's recap. The Blue Eddy AC200L helped supply power to each project that we had and it lasts the entire time entire three days no problem we went through so many battery recharges our phones are constantly dying because we record so much so we were able to keep our phones charged we were able to keep fans running the whole time we were able to bring the blue eddy up here when we needed to work up here it was just so accessible the whole time to be able to have power that could travel with us and it made the entire day so much easier thank you again to blue eddy for making this project possible
As always, stay tuned for more Jess and Jake. Bye! See ya!